Releasing as the fourth installment in the Fighter Pass DLC, Terry Bogard joined Smash Ultimate representing the Fatal Fury series of fighting games. Like fellow classic fighting game reps Ryu and Ken, Terry has some unique mechanics and a moveset that works in unique ways. If you'd like to learn more about Terry's special mechanics and his fundamental playstyle, you should definitely check out our Terry intro guide right here on the Pro Guides YouTube channel. In this video, we'll be looking deeper into Terry's moves as well as his devastating combos. To learn all you can about competitive Smash, click on over to ProGuides.com. There you'll find more guides, resources, and access to top coaches via our Play With Pros platform. We've also launched our new pro course with none other than MKLeo, and you can access our courses with Zero and ESAM as well. So taking a look at Terry's moveset, let's start with his jab. Coming out on frame 3, jab is a decently fast move that can be used to whiff punish at close range. What makes jab so useful, however, is that it can be cancelled into Terry's special moves on the first and third hit. You'll typically want to go for the third hit for more damage and to give you more time to react to the fact that you landed it. By cancelling with the special move, jab can be true comboed into a variety of options. Power Dunk is the most consistent and will combo out of jab at virtually any percent, making this one of Terry's best bread and butter options to build up damage, and it can even KO at higher percents. For all of Terry's special cancels, you can opt to use the basic direction plus B inputs, or if you want to play more advanced, you can use command inputs. We'll talk about some shortcuts for using command inputs later in this video, but keep in mind that doing these inputs will give you more damage as well as invincibility frames on most specials. You can also opt to combo jab into a rising tackle, Terry's up special. But this does less damage, so it would only be worthwhile if you're on a platform for a chance to get a KO off the top. It's worth noting that jab will let you combo into the held down EX version of rising tackle. Terry's Power Wave, Burn Knuckle, and Rising Tackle will all do more damage and knockback when the attack button is held down for a bit. Although it isn't a true combo, Jab can be cancelled into a Buster Wolf when you're at 100% or over. This can take stocks extremely early if you catch your opponent off guard just once. Since Terry can get so much off of a jab, it's very possible that you'll find yourself jabbing someone's shield, which is typically unsafe. However, Terry can cancel jab into Crack Shoot, his back special, to cross up the shield and land with low lag. This allows Terry to pressure shields very safely against characters who don't have amazing out-of-shield options. Now let's look at Terry's tilts. Forward tilt comes out on frame 8 and is fairly safe on shield, considering it can also be cancelled into a Crack Shoot if desired. At low percents, F-Tilt can cancel combo into Quick Press Burn Knuckle, Power Dunk, or Crack Shoot. These will all stop confirming at mid percents, but Terry gains a new and very deadly option. On most characters without perfect DI, Terry can cancel combo F-Tilt into Buster Wolf, which can take stocks very early. It's usually possible to escape this combo by DIing up for floaty characters and DIing down for fast fallers to force a tech chase, but it's very hard to react to the F tilt to DI in time. Next is Up Tilt. Coming out on frame 7, Up Tilt is a quick and reliable anti air tool which hits opponents above and in front of you. At most percents, Up Tilt can cancel combo into Rising Tackle or Power Dunk, although the position you hit the opponent from and their DI make these confirms inconsistent. Up Tilt's best confirm, however, is Power Geyser, the other super special Terry gains access to at 100% along with Buster Wolf. Up tilt true combos into Power Geyser at basically any percent, making this an early kill confirm that also racks up over 40 damage in just 2 hits. Terry's down tilt comes out on frame 6 and is very safe, having low end lag. At low percents, this move cancel combos into Held Rising Tackle, Power Dunk, and Crack Shoot. These confirms work at mid and high percents as well, but at mid percent you can also combo the down tilt into a jab, and at high percents quick press burn knuckle. At very high percents, down tilt can also combo into up tilt. At high percents, down tilt can confirm into down smash for a KO. Although this isn't a true combo, it'll catch most air dodges into the ground and jumps as they ascend, making it reliable enough to attempt in most matchups. Coming out on frame 10, Terry's dash attack can't be cancelled into special moves, but it travels very far and KOs at high percents, making it a great zone breaking option that can also be used to close out stocks against mobile characters. None of Terry's smash attacks can be cancelled either, but they can still be useful. Terry's forward smash comes out on frame 18 and has decent KO power. 
This move is great for hard punishes and sometimes reads, although its slow startup makes it somewhat unreliable. Down Smash is Terry's fastest smash attack at frame 8. Besides for confirms out of down tilt, this move can be useful for hitting recoveries that peak above the ledge and it sends at a fairly horizontal angle which can be difficult to recover from. Terry's up smash comes out on frame 10 and acts as a powerful anti-air attack. This move hits from below most platforms and can be a good way to KO airborne opponents. Terry also has a unique spot dodge attack that activates if the attack button is pressed during a spot dodge. This attack comes out on frame 5 and has invincibility for the majority of the animation. It cannot be cancelled with special moves though. Let's move on to Terry's aerials. Neutral air is his fastest aerial and comes out on frame 4. At low and mid percents, the early hit can be cancel comboed into held rising tackle, held burn knuckle, crack shoot, and power dunk. At high percents, held burn knuckle can still combo out of the late hitbox of Nair. At low percents, a landing Nair can combo into jab or any of Terry's tilts. At mid percents, Nair can still combo into forward and up tilt, down and up smash, a rising Nair, rising fair, rising dare, and rising up air. If you go for a rising Nair, you can true combo a special move cancel or go for another falling Nair to string the opponent across the stage. Forward air comes out on frame 7 and cannot be cancelled into a special. At low percents, landing fair can combo into jab, f tilt, and down tilt, but usually this move will act as more of a zoning and ledge trap tool, thanks to its long active frames. Back air also cannot be cancelled and comes out on frame 11. At low percents, back air combos into jab and forward tilt, and at higher percents, it's a strong KO option. Terry's automatic perspective mechanic makes back air less practical to use in most situations because you'll need to rar it or cross up opponents to hit with this move. Terry's up air comes out on frame 7 and can be special cancelled. It can be cancel comboed into rising tackle and sometimes power dunk and crack shoot at low and mid percents. In some matchups, a rising up air can be comboed out of up throw at zero. Falling up air also acts as one of Terry's best combo starters. At low percents, falling up air can combo into jab, forward tilt, and up tilt, as well as down and up smash. At mid percents, it combos into any aerial and dash up smash. Falling up air can be difficult to hit with, but it's much easier to connect the back of this move. So you can use it to cross up and Terry will automatically turn around to make the same follow-ups possible. The last of Terry's aerials is down air which comes out on frame 12. The strong hit of this move does 20 damage and is a powerful spike. At low percents, a landing down air can cancel combo into held burn knuckle, held rising tackle, and crack shoot. At mid percents, only the sour spot of this move will start combos, with rising tackle and crack shoot as the only consistent follow-ups. Finally, let's talk more about Terry's special moves. As mentioned before, each of his special moves besides Power Wave has a command input variation that does more damage, knockback, and has partial invincibility. His neutral B, Power Wave, comes out on frame 18 with a quick press and 21 when held. This move shoots a projectile that travels along the ground, allowing Terry to bait jumps and pressure from a distance. Terry's forward side special is Burn Knuckle, which comes out on frame 18 with a quick press and frame 21 when held. The held input version travels farther. The command input for this move is down quarter circle forward. Although it doesn't combo out of too many setups, the held command input Burn Knuckle can be a good KO option. This move can also be used for recovery. Next is Terry's backward side special, Crack Shoe. This move comes out on frame 14, and the command input is down quarter circle back. Crack Shoot is often used for recovery and shield pressure when cancelled, and it can be reversed by holding back for a short time before starting. Terry's up special, Rising Tackle, is active on frame 10 and will travel further and deal more damage with the hold input. The command input for this move is Charge Down, which means that you'll need to be holding down for at least 24 frames before using up B. The charge will be stored for 10 frames after releasing down. Rising Tackle is Terry's main recovery option, and it's highly advised that the command input is used to stay safer from edge guards. This can be done easily by holding down during your double jump to avoid fast falling. Rising Tackle often goes past the ledge, so you'll want to recover as low as possible relative to the up B height you choose to stay safe. Terry's down special is Power Dunk. Coming out on frame 6, this is one of Terry's most consistent combo tools. The command input for Power Dunk is forward down quarter circle forward, otherwise known as the Shoryuken input. With the command version, combos like jab to Power Dunk can become kill confirms. 
This move also has a spike hitbox, but it's designed to not combo into it. Power Dunk is also a great recovery mix-up due to its high arc and large hitboxes. Last, but certainly not least, we have Terry's Super Specials, Power Geyser, and Buster Wolf. These both require command inputs to perform and are only possible at 100% or higher. Power Geyser comes out on frame 20 and shoots a huge explosion in front of Terry. The command input for this is down quarter circle back, down quarter circle forward. In addition to combos out of up tilt, Power Geyser can be used to ledge trap an anti-air opponent due to its huge hitbox. Finally, Buster Wolf comes out on frame 14 and is inputted with down quarter circle forward twice in a row. Although very laggy, this move has a fast lunge that covers a large distance and kills very early, so use it wisely and you can close out stocks and deal tons of damage. There are some useful shortcuts you can use to make command inputs easier. Firstly, completely following through a quarter circle motion is unnecessary. You can actually just jump between the cardinal directions. For example, you can input a power geyser with just down, back, forward. Next, you can start inputting a command before using other attacks, such as pressing down for the start of a Buster Wolf before inputting a forward tilt that then combos into the completed command input. And lastly, special cancels only activate on hit or on shield, so you can whiff safe aerials and tilts and have the command input or special input of your choice ready to activate as an option select if the move happens to connect without the risk of whiffing a laggy special. And that's the rundown of Terry's moveset and combos discovered so far. Make sure to subscribe and quarter circle over to the notification bell to keep up with more from Pro Guides.